So you want to do well on your internal medicine rotation. You want to crush your self-exam. You want to get those honors. How do you do it and what resources do you need? In this video, I'm going to give you my top seven resources that are going to help you just crush that exam. I'm going to give you those resources after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. If you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. My name is Lux. I'm a fourth year medical student who's going into internal medicine. I'm gonna give you the resources that helped me do well in the rotation as well as get honors. We're going to start with number one, which is the king of all kings, UWorld. Obviously, you know UWorld if you're on rotations or if you even are a first or second year med student, but UWorld for internal medicine is like on another level. It's 1400 practice questions, at least from the time that I remember, and it is a lot. I'm actually gonna link in the description to a blog post that breaks down my exact study schedule to get through all 1400, uh, if not once, if not a couple, uh, 1.25 iterations, which is what I was able to do. So check that link out in the description down below um, to help you basically finish all those questions and still have some time to review for the shelf exam. But, but you need to make sure you do these practice questions because they are the cream of the crop when it comes to information and just practice that you can do for the actual thing. So make sure you have your world on your resource list. So resource number two are Anki decks. Now I loved using Anki and it's really great for internal medicine, which although it is a very time intensive uh, rotation, there's a lot of downtime. You know, you have lunch lectures, some of them which may not be amazing. So you can do some flashcards there. You may be waiting for your attending walking back and forth from your car from like the garage um, i'll go ahead and also link down in uh, the description some flashcards that i loved using that were pre-made there's about 2,000 of them and so um, a lot of information but they're all high yield and so again you can do these um, and just add them to your phone or your ipad and do them during some downtime you're going to be able to do better on your UWorld questions because some of those questions are taken from UWorld practice questions. And then are you then going to be able to do better on your shelf exam? So again, all the resources I'll talk about will be linked down in the description, including those Anki decks. So make sure you add those Anki decks um, to your resource list. So resource number three, and this is probably my favorite resource of all time for your third year rotations is online medit. Now, if you're a student that just loves to have all your resources in one place, you love to have the information, uh, kind of the teaching, as well as the practice questions, the flashcards, just all of it in one place, online medit is going to be for you. Now, I made a very detailed review post as well as video about online medit. And so again, I'll link that down below in the description but it's helped me transform my rotations as well as my step two score. So again, if you wanna watch that, that'll be in the description below. But for internal medicine, it's just amazing because if there's a specific field uh, or in internal medicine that really gives you trouble, if you struggle with nephrology like this guy, then you watch those videos or just look through those notes because they're very high yield and they're broken down to how an internist thinks. You know, a lot of things that we do are things such as like electrolytes or decision making, and you have to be able to understand what's your next step. And the notes from OME, you know, kind of like the flow diagrams of what decision you need to make, you know, what diagnosis you should be considering and what treatment options you should make. Those notes are just amazing. So I highly encourage you guys to check out Online Meded if you haven't already. If you do want a discount, I got you guys. My friends at Online Meded uh, hooked me up and hooked you guys up with $80 off for an annual subscription. So again, uh, the link will be down below in the description and you can use coupon code OME18 um, at checkout and we'll help you get $80 off an annual subscription. If you do have issues with that coupon code, just comment down below and I can update uh, with the more correct if they updated it. Uh, but check out Online Meded. I think you guys will love the notes. The videos are amazing. Everyone loves them. And the practice questions and flashcards are definitely underrated, but they'll definitely help you out if you want some more practice. So resource number four, and this is kind of the go-to text that people use is step up to medicine. Now, again, here's a screenshot of here. I'm not somebody that loves to use text because usually they're very bulky. Um, I don't learn very well from reading material anyways, but Step Up to Medicine is usually used uh, by many students who do like to have a text in their backpack that they can take or just kind of put a Kindle or ebook version on their iPad and just read through. It is 500 pages long, so it is one of the longer texts for any of the rotations, but it is really well written. There is something for every single topic. so. The approach that I would recommend that you take 
especially if you're somebody like me that doesn't really learn from reading a 500 page textbook is to use a specific skimming technique which is i will skim through a specific um, chapter i will go from page one to all the way to 500 and as i'm skimming if there is a specific portion of the page that makes me uncomfortable when i just skim through it then i stop and i really invest my time but if i'm going through something like heart failure or something like copd where i see enough patients with it that i feel pretty comfortable taking care of them then i keep skimming and going by but again if i get to the the nephrology section I'm pretty much reading that detail because it's a topic that I struggle with and so find whatever that is for you it may be a lot at the first time around um, and you can use a skimming technique to get through the book faster another way to do uh, going through a, a book like step up to medicine is do the you world questions um, obviously start them early you know again uh, down below in the description I'll refer to my top tips for the internal medicine rotation so it's more than just about the resources but just how to do well on the rotation in general but one thing I recommend you do is is do the you will question early because when you can do them early then you can go back to the book and refer to the specific um, sections and topics that really have given you trouble versus going from page one to 500 you're just focusing on your weaknesses there's 1400 practice questions so if you can get through them you can probably go back and forth through your weak points and just master the portions of the book that you're having some difficulty with but definitely still check out step out to medicine oh, the link will be in the description down below and you guys can see what other people have thought about it on amazon uh, and just kind of get a feel for what the book is like so again link will be in the description i highly check it out if you guys want a text to go with your rotation. So resource number five, this is something that usually people have at the very end of their kind of study plan are the NBME practice test. Now it's best when you're taking the shelf exam to go to the people that make the actual exam. And so that's exactly what the NBME practice exams are. Um, I believe there are four of them and they are basically like the real thing. Often I see some of the practice questions show up on the real thing. So if you can do well in these practice questions and get an idea of where your grade is at, um, you're gonna do well. So, so that do encourage you to follow a very strategic plan to finishing your UL questions. That way you still have time on doing the practice test because they do take about a day, maybe another day to review them. So there's four of them. I encourage you guys to go through all of them. You probably wanna leave that last week to go through those exams. Thus, that means you have to finish your UL questions a little early. So go through that link in the description down below on how to strategize you old questions as well as a practice exam. So make sure you check out the NBME practice test. Now the last two resources that I'll give you are things that people don't really talk about a lot. So number one is pocket medicine. I'll put a screenshot up below. You guys have probably seen this that fits in the white coat nicely. Now by no means is this a resource to help you study for the shelf exam, but it's a great reference material to help you do well on the rotation. And in my last video where I just talked about tips for the internal medicine rotation, I refer to the pocket medicine method. And I encourage you guys to use it. What basically says that if you get a new patient, you know, regardless if you're comfortable or you know uncomfortable with the condition that patient has, go through that section in pocket medicine and read through it again and read through it that night, whatever you may have to do. If you have 10 patients during your IM rotation with COPD, each time read through the COPD section because each time you're gonna be able to gain more and more nuances to the disease and the management. You're gonna be able to do a much better job of taking care of that patient. So add pocket medicine to your list. Just have it in your you know, side pocket. You can find uh, the previous edition, which is just as good for a lot cheaper. So again, it'll be linked in the description below, but it's gonna make your IM rotation a lot simpler. And finally, the last resource, which most people don't talk about, but it is a huge plus. It is the PowerPoints from San Antonio uh, Medical School. So I'll link them down below in the description, but they are just high yield PowerPoint slides um, that will go from every single organ system and the top diseases that show up on the shelf exam. Um, there's usually some videos that come to it, but I haven't been able to access them because I think they're really meant for UTESCA medical students, but the PowerPoints are uh, available to all of you guys. So I do encourage you guys to check out the PowerPoints and give yourself the last couple of days to just do some final review and flip through um, the PowerPoints because they really are kind of put into a question, a Q&A format. So it's great for your final review to see if you can actually answer all those questions. But the Utesca uh, PowerPoints for internal medicine are super helpful. And so I encourage you guys to have them as kind of your latter part of your study plan. But guys, those were my top resources for the internal medicine rotation. Not only just do well on the wards, but to obviously do well on your shelf exam. Hopefully you guys found them helpful. Maybe I've missed something. If I did, 
add the resource down below in the comment section and also comment if you have finished your IM rotation what's your favorite resource that you use what's the most effective technique that you found to help yourself do well on the rotation um, all of that in the comment section down below I'd love to hear your guys thoughts if you do have any questions as always you know comment below and I'll be happy to help you guys um, finally I want to end where, where you can go next if you want more help on not just IM, but all of your rotations, all of your third year um, curriculum to do well um, and kind of prep yourself up for residency, which is right around the corner. And that is my newest book that's coming out. It's called The Preclinical Guide. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Um, it's coming out at the very end of February, and I'm not only writing a book, but adding some more amazing bonuses that I'm going to be revealing first to a special group of subscribers and readers that are interested in kind of helping me craft the final product. So if that's you and you want to know what that special format is and what the bonuses are in the link down below in the description, you'll find kind of a sign up sheet and I will give you updates as the pre or as the clinical guide uh, is written and kind of finished. So add yourself down to that list and I promise you guys you will be happy with the results. Uh, but as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and join the community. Um, thank you guys so much for all that, all that have done so already. And as always, I will stop babbling like I always do and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.